all welcome back to the channel this is maybe here again with another video in today's video today's video is a highly requested one and as i like to always say on the channel i am here to serve i've gotten a lot of questions regarding um beading needles and fishing lines okay i found that i've been working with those two pieces of item and a lot of us have questions on their sizes i believe i asked in one of my recent videos whether or not to share a video on how to choose the right beading needle choose the right fishing line for your sewing project and i got a couple of yeses okay on that particular video so in today's video i'm going to do a combination of those um, questions okay how to choose beading needle and how to choose fishing line so without wasting any more time we're going to jump straight into today's video but before i get into the main reason why you clicked on this video if this is your first time of seeing me hello my name is fubibi and i love to make things with these hands okay so if you'd be interested in being a part of this gorgeous family that i'm going on here where i teach people how to make gorgeous gorgeous pieces of items and i also learn from you guys as well if you'd love to be a part of this family please be sure to hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first to know every single time i drop a new video i try my best to post videos weekly okay all right also if after watching this video you enjoyed watching because i have to remind you guys please like the video liking the video lets me know that you guys got value from watching and it also helps the youtube algorithm know that people love my video and share the video with a lot of people okay so please do well to like the video share with your friends as well if you have friends that run businesses or love to do stuff like this and you know they would love content like this please be sure to also share with them all right guys let's jump straight into today's video let's go all right so we're going to go straight i'm going to start off with um fishing lines and with fishing lines like i said in the video that i'm talking about that you guys asked me because i need to adjust my seat like I said in that video, okay, fishing lines come in different sizes. And when I just started off this whole journey in sewing and millinery and DIY accessory making, okay, I did not know that those things had sizes. So most times when I walk into my sewing accessories shop, I just say, oh, give me fishing line. And they'll just hand something over to me and I'll collect it. But with experience and with time, I figured out that, you know, fishing lines have different sizes. And shout out to the vendor where I buy accessories from she in particular i'm talking about charity now i know in the video where i shared where i shop from at my one I, I left charity's contact in the description box so charity was one that let me know that you know there are different sizes of fishing lines and most times she always has those um, different sizes okay anyway i digress but the point you want to notice that fishing lines have different sizes and they come in millimeters typically okay at least from my experience out here in nigeria i cannot speak for people outside of nigeria but if you live in nigeria the fishing line that is very come on here usually comes like this it always looks like this all right there are different names this one now is called ab frank but i believe that this um, ab frank is not the only brand that we have they are different makers but they typically come like this in this little um rolling but i've seen a bigger size I've, i'm yet to find that bigger size what's dropping here i'm yet to find that bigger size out here i want to check that i pressed record anyway I, I, I am yet to see the bigger size out here in portacot so they typically come like this and they are sold for i think 500 naira here in Portacot, the prices may vary according to your location, but here in Portacot, these fishing lines sell for 500 naira each. So, this particular size that I'm holding is the 0 0.30. Okay, can you guys see the uh, size here? The 0 0.30 millimeter fishing line. There's the 0 0.25. Okay, 0 0.25 millimeter. There's also the 0 0.40, 0 0.50, 0 0.60, 0 0.70, 0 up until I have the 0 0.70 as well i have the 0 0.25 the 0 0.30 and i also have the 0 0.70 but i'm planning to buy the 0 0.60 because i need it for a particular project this 0 0.70 yeah this particular size is my favorite for making beaded bags i believe by now you guys must have seen the beaded bag video that i shared on the channel if you're yet to see it it will go but this 0 0.70 size is what you should get if you're trying to make a beaded bag or worst case scenario buy the 0 0.60 but don't go below or above those um, figures, okay? Between 0 0.60 and 0 0.70, those are the two um, types of fishing line that you typically use for um, making beaded bag, weaving generally, not necessarily beaded, but if you are weaving beads, okay? 0 0.60, 0 0.70, because they are strong. So the lower the figure, the thinner the uh, line, okay? So 0 0.25 is slimmer than 0 0.30. 0 0.30 is slimmer than 0 0.40 so the higher you go the chunkier the line let me show you guys what the one millimeter so i i don't know if this is the um, thickest um i don't know what it's called yeah i don't know if this is the thickest 
type of line that we have but this is the one millimeter line i believe you can see it right here the diameter is one millimeter and this is how thick it is and i doubt if this will pass through a needle even if it does it will be very tight and basically difficult to to pass through the needle but this is it when i bought it i don't know i wasn't thinking because right now after i bought it i don't know i don't know what i'm going to use it for <laughs> but i have it share and the 0 0.70 like i said i use it for beaded bags or weaving beads basically and the 0 0.25 and 0 0.30 i use them for making beaded headbands okay the 0 0.25 is my favorite because it's very slim and when you're beading on your headband it's neater okay it doesn't pick through your fabric it typically just blends in and looks very neat the 0 0.302 mm, i can manage this ball i i hardly find myself reaching for it because it's a bit too thick and most times if i don't um add some level of expertise to my work i can see it picking through fabric when i use it to make beaded headbands so i don't really reach for it my favorite is still the 0 0.25 size of um fishing line and i believe that's all about fishing line if you are more experienced than i am like i always say i'm on a journey okay so in case you know more than this about fishing line please feel free to you know talk to us in the comment section i'm always down there reading your comments and learning from you guys as well so if there's anything that you know about fishing line that i didn't mention in this video please be sure to leave it in the comment section i'd love to read from you anyway moving on to um our beading needle okay i've gotten a lot of questions about beading needle and it makes sense because i've been doing a lot of beading on the channel and you can't bid without these little babies okay this little bad boys we need them in beading and they come in different sizes like i said so to the best of my knowledge they range from size 9 to 12 don't quote me okay i'm not google go and do your research but to the best of my knowledge they, they range from size 9 to size 12 and it's quite the opposite with beading needle this lower the number the thicker the needle okay size 9 needle is quite chunky okay let me show you guys so this is a size 9 needle you might not really be able to tell the chunkiness from the video but if you walk into your this this needle will sell for 100 naira per pack okay so you can just walk into your sewing accessories shop and see things for yourself okay so you, just so you don't go off of um, what i'm just sharing with you okay so anyway the size 9 needle is thicker than the size 10 needle my size 10 needle just dropped all right so it's thicker than the size 10 needle this size 10 as we can see okay and then this is the size 11 as well the size 11 is slimmer than um, the size 10 and then the size 12 is my size 12 needle here I'm not sure let me check I can't see it anyway like I said walk into your sewing accessories shop I'm sure you'll see all of this so the size the size 12 needle is the slimmest and the pro for size 9 is it's good when you're working with big beads, okay? Because the big beads have like big holes that you can pass your needle and thread through. So I typically use the size 9 needle when I'm working with big beads for the beaded headbands or beaded projects that I'm or the beading project that I'm working on. The size 10 needle as well, I use it for relatively chunky um, beads. But when I'm working with those seed beads, sand beads, um, pipe beads, rice beads, I use my size 11 needle. My size 11 needle has got to be my favorite needle, okay? I find myself using it more often than I use the other sizes because it's just the perfect, is it diameter now? I don't know. It's just perfect. It passes through needles, both the sand bead, the pipe bead, the rice bead, it passes through. If you're using size 9 needle to work on seed beads, you'll be frustrated because you'll find yourself getting stuck as you're trying to pick up beads from your container, okay? So that's why I don't like to use all those types of um, needle, but I find myself using the size 11 needle a lot. The reason why I would have loved to use size 12 or say that size 12 is my favorite because it's the slimmest among them. The only reason why I don't really like size 12 is it breaks easily. If you apply too much force, you'll find it's breaking because of how slim it is. So I would have said I love it, but the fact that it's be breaking and then I have to start afresh, that whole procedure is really stressful for me. So I don't... I don't reach for it too often so yeah that's that's pretty much it about beading needle so the like I, the summary of everything i just said is the lower the number the chunkier the needle okay size 9 needle is chunkier than size 10 needle size 11 needle is slimmer than size 10 okay so the high the higher you go the slimmer the needle while for our fishing line the higher you go 
the thicker it is so 0 0.25 is the slimmest there's still the invisible um thread it also mimics the texture of fishing line bow like like they call it it's almost invisible like it's really slim i wish i had mine here it's somewhere in the house but i, can, I want to quickly wrap up this video so if you walk into your sewing accessories shop tell them to show you invisible thread okay they will show you that one is very it's almost invisible like when you use it to sew something yourself you will be looking for it you won't be able to see it so for fishing line you are starting from 0 0.25 upwards up until one millimeter okay and i showed us a couple so that's pretty much it for this video i hope this video answers your questions and helps you take away confusion if you still have any form of questions for me please feel free to drop it in the comment section also if you got value from watching this cute little video please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up that thumbs up helps me know that you guys got value from watching and feel free to share with a friend okay if you have anybody that you think will love content like this or learn from something like this please be sure to share with them all right thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching this video up until this point and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another one Bye bye